Hello, this video is to show my newly started G.I. Joe collection. Just the G.I. Joes, no Cobras in this one. Uh, so, I tried to collect all the uh, figures that were never available in New Zealand. Uh, prior to 86, 87, which is when they first were released here. So I've got a lot of 85, uh, which is I believe uh, the fourth wave. Um, so, here we go. Uh, here's Duke, uh, with his cheesy grin. And then over here we've got uh, some ninjas. Uh, Snake Eyes with Timber, Jinx and Storm Shadow, and behind them, Cover Girl and the Wolverine, and then uh, you got uh, Flint and Lady J in the Silver Mirage. Uh, a lot of these vehicles have reproduction stickers because that is the big problem with collecting 35 year old. G.I. Joe vehicles, the stickers are often a pain in the ass, so yeah, um, I was lucky enough to get some uh, unstickered vehicles uh, and sticker them myself. Uh, right, um, next we've got Roadblock, version 2, dial tone, and over here we've got Lieutenant Falcon and Footloose, and Outback in the foreground, Alpine on the right, and here's one of the most impressive vehicles, and also one of the most expensive, the Warthog uh, Amphibious Landing Vehicle, uh, or AIV I believe, you can see recoil in the top turret, uh, a shockwave behind him, and you can see Sergeant Slaughter with his distinctive hat in the driver's seat. And you've also got Muskrat and Rakondo with his back to us because he's in shitty condition, complete with a broken thumb. So he will be replaced eventually with a C9 condition like the rest of my G.I. Joes are. Uh, and then you've got Scarlet in the Hell Laser Cannon. Uh, what else? Uh, you got the Ore Striker. This is my third attempt at buying a decent second-hand Ore Striker. Or at least second attempt to get a, a second-hand one. And uh, there was an attempt to buy a reproduction or a reissue, which was not quite suitable due to various reasons, like the foot pegs not being the correct size for 1980s real American hero figures. Uh... And you got Ripcord there, who I just got today in the mail. And then you got the Persuader, which I just recently got the stickers for. And I love this vehicle so much more now that it's got stickers, it looks badass. And the reproductions had some cool touches like Sam 37 stickers for the actual rockets, which don't come with the original version. And the little uh, personalization on the side that says uh, Specialist Robert uh, Backstop Levin. And also even little headlight stickers which weren't included in the original release which I thought were a very cool touch when I finally worked out what they were supposed to be for. And you've got Sci-Fi from uh, 86. And Airtight from 85. Um, thought Airtight would suit the Persuader well because he's got the yellow that matches the missiles. And then you've got the Whirlwind, another terrible unit manned by Tripwire. Because I figured, you know, they're both 1983. So. Uh, then you've got Rock and Roll from 88, I believe, and Bullhorn. Uh, standing in front of the flight of Sergeant Slaughter's Marauders, which uh, is my most expensive G.I. Joe vehicle because I bought it mid his box and I think he only took me a hundred dollars. I probably shouldn't have because he kind of surprised me at the time, but hey, I'm thinking it might go well. Yeah, I bought it. Hopefully, the 
1980, I want to say 85, but maybe it's 84, Mola, except with a different turret. And it's not motorized like the Mola was, which made it a lot cheaper because you could pay a lot of money for a good condition, complete Mola. Um, and then finally, you've got the Mean Dog, which ever since I first saw it was like, damn, i got to get one of those. Uh, in the front turret, you've got Salvo without any of his gear, because I think he looks more badass without his gear. You've got Repeater, the machine gunner, steady cam machine gunner on the back, and Hardball in the rotary cannon at the top. And I've tried to collect Joes that have a distinctive military sort of feel to them, as a lot of people I think do. Um, so I was trying to get mostly camouflage looking guys, or at least green or brown guys, particularly brown guys for the mean dog. Uh, and of course there's a few exceptions, like um, bazooka and barbecue, quite red, and then ninjas stand out like a sore thumb. But um, that's my collection as of December the 28th. Uh, there is more coming. I've got a few in the mail, including Hawk, Law and Order, Hit and Run, uh, Chuckles, uh, Low Light, and Shipwreck. Which means that the only 1985... G.I. Joe characters I don't have now are Dusty and Quick Kick. I just missed out on a Quick Kick, but I've got to get a Dusty. I think they're pretty hard to find. Uh, and that's pretty much it, I guess. Uh, maybe I'll do another one of these videos with my Cobra forces, uh, who I have amassed at the same time. I've only been collecting for about two months, maybe two and a half months. Uh, and I'm pretty much done because I'm running out of space. Anyway, hope you uh, are insanely jealous so far. Uh, and yo Joe, as they say. See ya.